Nestled deep in the lush Devonshire countryside near the town of Chagford is the award-winning hotel and restaurant known as Gidley Park. It was here that my husband Ian booked a special afternoon tea for the belated celebration of my birthday on our first day of freedom after our travel quarantine. This babbling brook offered the perfect atmospheric backdrop to our afternoon tea that we enjoyed on the terrace this mild September day. Gidley Park is a Tudor-style country home set in over 100 acres of lovely gardens. We enjoyed exploring these expansive gardens, which included verdant woodland paths, a tree-lined walk from the stream to the house, and a lovely water garden. And now for a quick tour of what we had to eat in this fancy afternoon tea. Here is my tea, which is black currant and hibiscus. I'm gonna call it magenta tea. And then this is the most amazing looking carrot cake I think I've ever seen. This is Cornish clotted cream with strawberry jam. I don't know how I feel about the fact that it's Cornish clotted cream because we're sitting here in the middle of Devon. Then we've got our finger sandwiches, cucumber, honey ham, roast beef, and then strawberry cream eclairs, a chocolate orange something, and scones on the top. And then what is this? It is a raspberry almond macaron. Again, we're gonna call that magenta. Here's a review of all the food we ate and the very best bits. The finger sandwiches were good. Probably the cucumber was my very favorite. The scones were nice and fresh, which is critical, and included both plain and fruit varieties. Very nice. Before we top these scones, I'm going to interrupt the regularly scheduled programming to introduce a new segment called MOT Comments. In this segment, I will share comments from the Magenta Otter tribe that are relevant to the video of the day. Since we're about to put clotted cream on these scones, I wanted to share a couple comments from last week's vlog of the cheese vending machine. When I was gushing about the fact that the delicious clotted cream was on offer in the vending machine, that elicited a range of responses from my kind viewers. John shares his fondness for clotted cream in this comment, OMG, you had me at clotted cream, lol. While JJ declared that clotted cream is overrated. Well, I maintain my opinion that clotted cream is magically delicious. If you are not British and are unfamiliar with clotted cream, I encourage you to watch my afternoon tea video in which I discuss it at length. And in this video, which I will link in the description, I introduce the issue of the clotted cream controversy, or controversy, depending on who you ask. The central dilemma is which to put first on the scone, jam or clotted cream. Well, for this afternoon tea we were having at Gidley Park, we were in the county of Devon, but the clotted cream was from Cornwall. So this complicated matters. I decided to play it safe. I split my scone in half so I could have Devonshire way on one half of the scone and Cornish way on the other half of the scone. Please comment below and tell me which you prefer, cream or jam first, and most importantly, why? This is a matter of great importance, which I have pondered extensively. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now let's discuss the part of an afternoon tea that differentiates a good one from a great one. The desserts and pastries. The eclairs with fresh strawberries and whipped cream filling were lovely, but not my favorite of the lineup. Honestly, the scones with clotted cream and strawberry jam had already ticked the box for strawberries and cream, in my opinion. If you've heard my thoughts on Jaffa cakes, you may remember I don't love the combination of orange and chocolate. So when I saw this chocolate mousse balm with an orange filling in the center, 
I was skeptical. But dude, this was amazing. Yes, that is real gold leaf on top. The gold leaf wasn't tasty, just super fancy. But this whole dessert combination was super yummy. Underneath the dark chocolate glaze on the outside of this bomb was a delightful chocolate mousse and then a fresh orange filling in the middle. The combination was surprisingly exquisite. And then there was the carrot cake. A deliciously moist cake wrapped with a super thin ribbon of real carrot and topped with luscious cream cheese frosting, walnuts, and real leaves. Not to play magenta favorites, but the magenta macarons were the dessert I like the best because they were both scrumptious and unique. Tender cookies, fresh juicy raspberries, and an almond filling in the center that was the perfect complement. The one disappointing part of the tea was an unwelcome visitor, a wasp who seemed intent on enjoying our sweet treats. Eventually, we devised a sacrificial offering of a jam-covered spoon on the edge of our table to lure him away from our desserts which we were attempting to eat, and that seemed to work. One silly note that I have to share. If you recall from previous videos in which we've discussed euphemistic terms for rooms with toilets in them, here at Gidley Park, they are called cloak rooms. This is a term never used in the US. And frankly, I find it as odd as the term we do use here, restroom. It really doesn't make a lot of sense if you take it literally. Anyone who wants to explain why the ladies and gents are called cloak rooms, please inform me in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button if you haven't already so that you can keep track of our upcoming adventures. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.